In the last 200 years, we have seen life-changing breakthroughs in medicine and consumer goods, all designed to protect or improve our lives. One of the most important discoveries in history, however, is rarely acknowledged, the discovery of germs and how they spread. In 1847, a Hungarian physician named Ignaz Semmelweis worked in Vienna at one of the first obstetric facilities. He observed the growing number of maternal mortalities and theorized a link between those that died of childbed fever, the instruments used to examine them posthumously, and the living women treated subsequently with the same instruments. The breakthrough occurred when Dr. Semmelweis's friend and colleague, Jakob Kolechka, contracted a fever after pricking his finger with a scalpel used on a maternal autopsy. Kolechka quickly fell ill with the same symptoms and died shortly thereafter. Before the term germ was even conceived, Semmelweis identified the problem and tested a solution. Disinfecting of hands and instruments between performing autopsies and examining a woman during childbirth. As a result, the rate of maternal mortality decreased dramatically. To continue the decline, new sanitary practices for doctors and medical instruments were devised and instituted at the Vienna facility. Semmelweis wrote professional medical studies explaining his theories and solutions, but faced opposition and ridicule from his own medical community. It wasn't until after Semmelweis's death, within just 20 years, that the germ theory of disease had been articulated, validated, and popularized by giants such as doctors Koch, Pasteur, and Lister. As a result, disinfection became common practice and then a mandatory requirement in medical settings. Eventually, it evolved into the development of solutions for use in the home through the introduction of disinfectants using active ingredients like chlorine bleach and quaternary ammonium compounds, otherwise known as quats. Flash forward to modern day, where germ theory is known as fact and disinfection is common, not only in hospitals, but also in everyday settings such as daycares and homes. Many people clean kids' toys and pacifiers with disinfecting wipes, or clean countertops and cooking surfaces with disinfecting sprays. The balance of harmful germs and beneficial germs is maintained through a system of checks and balances. To maintain this equilibrium, it's important to practice good hygiene habits, like washing your hands with soap and water after using the bathroom, or before you eat or prepare food. Cough into your elbow or a tissue. Stay home when you're sick. For those with depressed immune systems, exposed to high-risk germs, or who have other reasons to be concerned, disinfecting products may be necessary. Now there is an exciting new disinfecting technology for consumers. Seventh Generation's new EPA-registered botanical disinfecting cleaners use an innovative technology based on thymol, a component of thyme essential oil, which is derived from the common garden herb thyme and is patented by our friends at Cleanwell. Seventh Generation's thymol-based disinfecting spray cleaners and wipes are a no-compromise solution to kill 99.99% of germs naturally. These new disinfecting cleaners meet the same germ-killing requirements as other EPA-registered disinfectants and are a responsible solution for consumers who are concerned about protecting their family from harmful germs. Whether you're concerned about foodborne bacteria on your kitchen counter, manage an immune-depressed household, or want to take extra preventive measures during flu season, protect your home with 7th Generation's innovative botanical disinfecting cleaners. Something tells us Ignaz Semmelweis would be proud.